I don't care what you're facing. God can navigate you through the worst of times. God already knows what you're dealing with, but he's on the ship with you. And I want to talk to you a little about Jezebel today. My subject this morning is come out of her. Say that, come out of her. Hallelujah. I think it's safe to say I'm laying foundation now. I'm going to try to preach quick because of the holiday. I know you want to get to the grill and burn your food up, but give me a minute. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I want to say to you this morning, praise God, hallelujah. Jezebel is reigning right now like I have never seen her. And I, Jezebel, by the way, scripturally, it does show a woman, but a Jezebel is not a female male. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, it's a spirit that can act, be activated in a person, whether they be male or female, and even in a child. There are some children that are dominating their parents, and that's Jezebel. Boy, Whew. somebody said, you didn't say that. I'll say it again. There are some children that are, that are dominating their parents. That's not God. So she don't have her way or she don't get her way or he doesn't get his way. Amen. So he blows up, has a tantrum until you get him what he wants. No, no, I'll just go get an elm switch. Y'all don't know what an elm tree is. Hallelujah. Go get a willow, tr willow tree. Get you a switch. When I grew up, I told her my punishment, my mama was 15 of us, so when she said something, she meant it. Because she didn't have time to whip 15 kids, she'd be wore out. But as we grew up, she went from the little M switch to the, for the Willow switch. And then when I got to be 15 years old, I was going out the door. She told me to get up for school, and my two brothers got up and went on. And I, I, worked at, I was working for the Kroger Corporation. I worked at 1 o'clock that night. It was, it was against the law to do that. But in my community, nobody said nothing about it in, in my race. And I didn't want them to because I liked the money, just to tell you the whole truth. And so, I, hey amen, I got up at 1 o'clock in time. 6.30, 7 o'clock, I didn't want to get up, so my mother came in there like she know Y'all get up, it's time for school. My two brothers got up. Well, I laid in there, and about 8.30, I come walk out, walking out the door. Everybody going to school. And I, I went out that door, and my mother, I didn't know it, but she had, she had took the broom handle, stuck it between the door, popped the helm. So when I went through that door, I met a giant-sized broom helm. And, man, she wore my back out. Next thing you know, man, I was running through the garden, Cross the gravel road up to the school. Now, that's not, don't correct your child like that. That's not good. But see, my mom had 15 children, and she wasn't going to tolerate disrespect. And see, we have that now big time in the, in the body of Christ. Disrespect. You know, I was trained to say yes, ma'am, and no, ma'am. And that was not a consenting thing uh, regarding white people or black people. It was a reverence. And if you said yes to somebody, my grandma was around, she said, boy, I'm going to slap your tongue back in your mouth. What did you say? Go back and tell that woman, yes, ma'am. And I, I, you know, I know people, I know we're more intelligent now, but I do believe we need to put some of that old stuff back into these children so they can learn how to say yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. It's a matter of respect. It's a matter of what? Honor to come out from among her. When I speak about Jezebel, I told you about all these things, uh, this darkness happening, but great light is coming. I want to lay that down before I get into my word because I don't want you to think I don't have no hope today. I do have hope in my word, but I have some instruction from the mind of God. And I want to say to this church and to those that are listening, live streaming, praise God, and the television ministry, amen. For, and I'm really talking to the church because the, the Bible is not written to the world, it's written to the church. If you don't believe that, look in Paul's letters to the different churches at Rome and Corinth and uh, Thessalonica yeah, and uh, all the seven churches of the book of Asia. He says, to the saints. So he's not talking about anybody that don't know God. The only thing the world needs is he needs our help to get them out of darkness into the marvelous light. You and I are the salt of the earth and the light of the what? World. Stay with me. I'm, I'm, he I'm, I'm hearing. Amen. Praise God. But I, I paid a price for this, so I'm going to deliver this. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, I shout and I dance. I believe in gifts of the Spirit very strongly, but I don't measure the gift above the character and integrity. If the gift, if the integrity won't match the gift, amen, the gift needs to sit down and go get some integrity and character. 
Your gift uh, won't carry you any further than your what? Character or integrity. Are you listening to me? So, and listen, by the way, amen, there's a, I told you Jezebel is raining right now. She's running uh, throughout the earth. That spirit is right now. That's why you have in the earth such a spirit of division, such anger, such malice, such hate. Why? Jezebel is trying to what? Dance. Now, you have to get that spiritual, but I'm telling you, Jezebel ain't going to dance pretty soon. Jezebel going to have to sit down. Why? Because God is arising. Isaiah 6, it says, uh, what? Arise and what? Shine. For your light is come and the what? Glory of God is risen upon you. Say, great light is coming. People are going to become such thirsty, such students for the truth. Because if I was the enemy, guess who I would deceive? Amen. The body of Christ. At least I would make an attempt to. Shout hallelujah. There's, there's a spirit. Jezebel is telling us, and Paul says it in Timothy, Hallelujah. The spirit of Jezebel says, hallelujah, amen, that we, uh, we actually love what? Pleasure. Paul said, men have become lovers of pleasure more than the lovers of who? God. I know I told you Jeremiah 51. Uh, I'm going there. When I go there, you know I'm closing. Hallelujah. But, but the Bible said, men shall be lovers of what? Pleasure more than lovers of whom? God. And I remember, uh, you know, when we was first coming up in I came to the knowledge of the baptism of the Holy Ghost, and they told us, stay out of the movie theaters and don't be watching this and watching that. They told us a lot of things that really uh, didn't stop you from being saved. But I'm bold enough to say this right now. I would admonish you to stay out of a lot of them. <laughs> because Jezebel, Hollywood, is sending stuff down that will take you to hell. Yes, a lot of those pictures are out there to what? To feed your what? Flesh. And if your flesh is fed, it's going to get fat and it's going to honor Satan, not God. Hallelujah. Now, I like these new movies, like a new movie is out called Overcomers. Wow, they say it's a powerful movie. We need something that will what? Build us up. I don't need to have my eyes looking upon these movies where you got naked women, naked men, perverseness. Now, they won't say this in these mega churches. I will. Hallelujah. Why, 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 do I, why should I not uh, want to be involved in that? Because number one, I have been sanctified, and that word sanctified meant set apart. And whether you like it or not, you have been set a what? apart. You're not of the world. We were in the world, but he brought us what? Out of the world. Amen. Yeah, if you don't know that, when you got saved, God trans translated you out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear who? Son. Into the light. And the Bible said, walk in the light as he is the light. Get out of darkness. But see, there's a spirit. Jezebel is angry at God. That spirit of bewitchment and deception is angry at God because of our love affair we're having with God. The enemy is mad at how much we're supposed to love God. When we were worshiping this morning, he hated it. He wants that. And see, every act of disobedience is worship unto the enemy. I'll say that again. Every act of disobedience does not glorify God. Well, if it's not glorifying God, what is it doing? Bringing honor to who? The enemy. He loves that. That's why God is concerned about this age, this present age that we're in now. God knows that he knows the time that we're living in now. He knows the, out, uh, the, uh, the onslaught of the enemy to come against the body of Christ to try to get us to fail God, to give up on God, to backslide on God, to uh, renounce God. But all that love God, hallelujah, going to fight. And I want you to know something. You're in a battle this morning. And if you're not, amen, the enemy already has you. Hallelujah, amen. All that live godly is going to suffer some persecution. You're going to suffer some kind of fight. And if you're in a fight, just be, be glad, hallelujah, that you know you're fighting the enemy and that the, the victor is already living where? In us. Christ in us. The God that's in you that's greater than anything that's on the what? The outside of us. And so when I was mentioned about Jezebel and her spirit, that spirit is parading itself through the nation now. Hallelujah. 
I've never seen such perverseness. Hallelujah. Amen. I said, I've never seen such what? Perverseness. And God has given us time to come out of her. I was preaching in Baltimore this morning. And I said, when, when Noah was told to build the ark, what amazed me is everybody came in that ark. All the giraffes, all the hickamopotamus, the lion. Everybody came in but who? Man. How is it that a giraffe got enough sense to come in and man stays out? How is it that a cobra, oh Shabbat, comes in but man stays out? Something wrong with that. How is it they heard God and obeyed God? And none of them are made in the image of God at all but man. And God gave Israel, how I gave the people of that day, 120 years to what? Get it right. It's going to rain. Noah's sermon. Now I can see people walking out on Noah. Every week he's preaching, it's going to rain, y'all. You know the text from the top to the bottom. It's going to rain. Y'all better come on in. Yeah, I mean, he didn't, you didn't have to fix that up. It's going to rain. Come in and save yourself. But all them years, they what? Ignore it. But the moment the first drop of rain fell, they all wanted to what? Get in there. Said, but too late. When God calls you out from among her, what? Come out. And what he was doing when Noah built the ark. And I don't get this. He doesn't have a crane. He doesn't have modern day equipment. But God gave him an ability to build an ark that was, I don't forget how many stories high. How did he do it? He had a supernatural ability on his what? Life. And how do you escape the corruption of this world? God gives you a supernatural what? Power. That's, he's called the who? Holy Ghost. He helps you to escape the what? World system. And I, I came to announce that I am not a part of this world system. I am not part of the Babylonian system. God called me out. I'm going to stay out by the grace of God. Hallelujah. I'm not going to let the devil lure me back in. No, I'm out. So I'm going to what? Stay out. Touch your neighbor and say, if you're out, you better stay out. Because the influence of Jezebel is what? Strong. Are you listening to me? Jezebel is from the White House all the way down to our houses. Praise God. Understand what I'm saying. Amen. God's getting ready to re reveal lies in Washington. And we're going to find out that some of that stuff was nothing but lies. And you have to be careful about who you say you're in love with. Be in love with the truth. That's all that matters to me. The truth. Shout hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Hallelujah. I heard Brother Kirkpatrick pro prophesied the other day. He said that in, in, in uh, Washington, hallelujah, there are some things, people that have great legacies. They're going to lose their legacy because God's going to reveal they wasn't what they said they were. We're in an hour now where God is going to pull the cover off of who? Jezebel. See, God is angry at how Jezebel has, has deceived the nations and, amen, and, 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 and lured us into a, a way of un, un, unrighteousness and ungodliness. I mean, people don't, don't even speak plainly anymore. Praise God. Let your yay be yay. Your nay, nay. No gray areas. Somebody asks you, can you do this? If the Bible said no, say no. And don't worry about it if they don't like it. Shout hallelujah. But I said, men are lovers of what? Pleasure. This is the pleasure seeking generation. If ain't no pleasure in it, even in the church, we want the worship to be pleasurable. It's not to give, meant to give you pleasure, it's meant to give God what? Glory. And in that, you have pleasure. It's my pleasure to what? Worship God. To glorify God. To lift up the name of Jesus. It's a pledge for me to do that. Hallelujah. And when I say come out from among her, Jezebel is raining right now. But hallelujah. Light is coming. And my God, she's going to be running after a while. Shout hallelujah. Some of your children have been bound by the enemy. Amen. I come to encourage you this morning. Light is coming. Help is coming. Restoration is coming. Deliverance is coming. Glory to God. So don't you hold your head up. Amen. You just keep yourself out of Babylon. Hallelujah. 
And so, hey, man, in Noah's day, everybody came in, Sister Linda. Uh, I mean, I'm sitting there, the people sitting there watching them animals just coming in. Some look like somebody would have said, what is that about? Why, oh, my God, the gazelle and the lions coming in together. And the gazelle is, is normally the dinner for a lion. But both, both of them walking in. What is that? That's the power of God orchestrating deliverance. And God has set in motion your deliverance. You just have to what? Walk therein. Jeremiah, I think chapter 5 or chapter 6, God speaks to Israel. He says, seek for the old path. Look for the good way and walk therein. And they responded to him and said, we will not. What kind of generation? These were God's people. He was speaking to Israel. What do you mean, church? God is saying, walk therein. But they would not. What is that about? That's about a generation that were redeemed by the blood of Jesus, but now are going where? Back to the beggarly elements of the world. The hog is going back to the what? Mud. The dog is going back to his own what? Vomit. Why? Because people are not seeking God with what? All their heart, all their soul, all their mind. God is a what? Jealous God, all nation. Whatever you're doing with your time, the Bible said in Matthew, seek ye what? First, the kingdom of God and what? And all of its righteousness and all these other things shall be what? Added unto you. I know this is not one of them, them, them hallelujah messages, but I'm going to preach what God told me. Glory to God. And let me tell you something. When this revival break out, you're going to hear the word repent, 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 and repent. Nowadays, you don't hardly hear it. My God, matter of fact, in most churches, they've done away with the altar. Why that? Why would you get rid of the altar? Because it's inconvenient for the body. We got to hurry up and get out of here. For what? More flesh? No, we'll take you to back in a special corner. No, the body has a part of their deliverance. You and I are not to be exempted from praying other folk into the what? Kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm about there. Glory to God. I'm going to say something to y'all nation. Amen. Praise God. I'm my Sunday. Woo. My ha ha ha. Paul said, I beseech you, brother, in Romans 12, by the mercies of God, that you present your what? Your body as a what? Living what? Not as a dead sacrifice, but as a what? Living sacrifice. What else? Holy and what? Acceptable unto God. And be not conformed to this world. Be not like Babylon. Go not into her. Get out while you can. Get out where there's time. holiness has been preached in the past in a legalistic way now, I don't believe in that but holiness is coming back holiness is the hatabosha. it is the character of who? God hallelujah I am the Lord God I am what? holy and then God admonished us be holy for I the Lord God am what? holy Come out of Babylon. Come out of the world system. Come out of that thing that will bind you and tie you down and make you a slave under sin. Come on out of there. Somebody said, come out. Wherever you are. Come on out of there. There were some old missionaries. We call them missionaries. Some old black women from over 50 years ago or 40 years ago. I used to hear them on the radio. When I first heard them, I thought they were ignorant and unlearned and they would be hollering like we hollering right now. So you do that. You holler like I'm hollering in the modern church. They'll say you're ignorant. Them folk don't know nothing. They haven't been to the college. And I was in court recently. And the man asked me, he said, you have a, uh, do you have a master? You've been in uh, theology school? And I said, no. The lawyer did. He was really beating me down pretty bad. He said, have you had a, do you have a master's degree? I said, no, sir. And he said, what about associate? I said, near that. He said, well, you're really not a preacher at all. And I said, well, I'm the call of God. See, people are measured by, and I'm not against education. I think you could get that. But I was called before the education came. Some people leave a burning and go to school and come back cold as ice. 
they get a learning but lose their burning. I'd rather have the burning than all the learning of the of my Sunday. Oh, my Shia. Somebody said, hey. Now, the best thing is learn and burn. So the, so the old Sunday, I'm getting a little happy. So I, when I get happy, I say anything. So you get drunk. How many know you get drunk, you don't say everything? Glory to God. But I'm saying to all nations, come out from among her. Get out of that world system. You don't even know it. As a believer, you've been fooling around with the world. And now your whole desire is flesh, flesh, flesh. What's on your plate? Flesh. What's on your dinner? Flesh. What's on your lunch? Flesh. What's on your supper? Flesh. I admonish you this morning by the Holy Ghost. Amen. Get you a new diet. You'll die with your flesh. Somebody said, if I knew he was going to be here, I wouldn't have came and heard this. You're here now, baby. Hallelujah. Listen, I love God. I, I believe in, I can preach messages by faith. I love faith. That's my whole by Sunday. But I feel the Holy Spirit saying to me, hallelujah, warn my people. Warn you. I'm warning you all nation. Get out of the world. Come out of that world. Let it go. Don't try to hold on to God and hold on to the world. You'll kill yourself. So let it all go. Jesus said in Romans, I mean, Paul, excuse me, Paul said, if any man of Corinthians be in Christ, he is a what? New creature. Old things are what? Passed away. All my old desires supposed to be what? Dead. All my old habits, dead. All my old ways, dead. And can I tell you about my old ways? I don't think I will. Hallelujah. Y'all remember your old ways, don't you? I mean, have you got so spiritual you don't even remember your stuff? Man, that's why I thank God. When I think, I think. I said, when I think, I think. Thank God this morning. Somebody said, when I think, I thank God for saving me. He brought me out. All right. Brought me out of darkness into the marvelous light. Say yes, Lord. Man, you make, I'm trying to quit, but you make me want to preach. Yeah, Lord. Oh, my. Jesse New Planet said, them black folk be hooping. Hallelujah. And I sure feel like hooping this morning. Hey! They were hollering like that in, in, New, in, uh, in Knoxville yesterday. They didn't do no good. Hey! They did not have an anointing that could destroy the yoke of Georgia. But you and I got an anointing that will destroy all the works of the devil. Hallelujah. Say, so I got power. Hey! Hallelujah. Let me close. This is a series and I should have took it like that. To come out from among her. Come out of her. Don't you see? Listen, church. Open your eyes up. I, the world, I expect the world to do what the world going to do. What I do not expect and what God does not expect is to see his blood bought people purchased by the suffering of Jesus go back to what he brought them out of. You say HBO don't bother you. Cinemac don't bother you. Bother me. Oh, I'm strong. I can handle that. Oh, really? What about Paul said? A little leaven and leaven of the what? Hold on. I've been in the barbershop. Men be talking about television. And what they saw on HBO. 75, 80 years old. So I saw that woman. They, they say, when I saw that woman go across the screen, so my toe jumped up. It's the flesh. Your flesh and my flesh is no good. And to fool around and play with it is a serious matter. Don't, don't play with your flesh. It can outwar you. The only hope you have and the only strength you have is your spirit. The born again spirit. Not that Adamic spirit, but that second man, Jesus. He's alive in you. 
He'll warfare for you. If you let him, he'll fight down every demon that come against you. Let me read Jeremiah. I told you when I read this, I'll be close to finish. What did I say? Jeremiah 51. Hallelujah. 51 verse 45. Hallelujah. Oh, Rabbi Hashan, did he answer? Hey, God, ha, ha, ha. My God. 51, 45. My people, go ye out of the midst of her. He's talking about Babylon. And deliver ye every man his soul from the fierce anger of God. Get out of her. And any man you can help deliver, bring them out. Because God, whether you like this or not, whether you want to hear this or not, God is a God of such grace. But he's also a God of great what? Judgment. You know, when, when Noah and them, you know, got saved and delivered just a few, when, when 100 years later, Abraham should come on the scene. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God got tired of Sodom and Gomorrah's sins. The Bible said God what? Full. When something gets full with God, he's going to do something about it. And when it got full by God, God, because Abraham become God's friend, God sends some angels by his house and says, tell Abraham, I'm getting ready to destroy, destroy this city. Why? Because Babylon, the spirit of Babylon was, was all over Gomorrah, all over Sodom. How do I know that? They've gone from the affection for a man from a woman for a man for a man. Is that not true today? Yeah, it is. There are even churches in our hour right now, hallelujah, in the United States of America, trying to decide if they can have a homosexual or a lesbian as their pastor. My God, what is that church? Babylon. It ain't nothing to talk about. It's already settled. Having great long meetings. You don't need a meeting. Just send a word. Email it. No, it's no. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he says, he says, Solomon, he tells Abraham, I'm going to destroy. And Abraham begins to intercede. That's why you need an interceding church. Not just person. Church. Prayer means ought to be the most attended service out of all the week. But it's the least attended service of the week. Why? Because people know prayer is what? Work. If you really pray, you're going to what? Labor. You can't, a woman ain't going to birth no baby. That, boop, there it is. I mean, occasionally some these young teenagers get pregnant. God be so merciful. Bam, they have it quick. But you find that old woman about 29. And she ain't old. Oh, what number you on? Five centimeters. Oh, 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 what number? Seven. Oh, oh, oh ten. And finally the baby come. But you ain't going to bring no baby without a what? Labor. The church is not going to get rid of the devil unless it what? Labors. We're not going to get folk from being bound by uh, Babylon if the church don't what? Intercede. Pray without what? Ceasing. Pray folk. Listen, that good folk that love God. Then got tangled up in what? Babylon. Now they're trying to serve God. And trying to serve the world. You cannot love two masters. You serve one, hate the other, but you can't have both of them, baby. I cannot have, which, let me just say it like this. She cannot have me and another man. That wouldn't work in my house. Somebody would go to jail or hell. Somebody, somebody, that won't work in my house. <laughs> Y'all laughing at me that work in your house? Help yourself, baby. Hallelujah. No, have that ain't, have that ain't gonna work. My got, hey man, she got me and nobody else. Man, I got papers on her. Well, I got papers. Did she belong to you? Yes, sir. How you know? Covenant. God got papers on us. Blood is on our lives. We covenant with God. He's jealous over you. 
He's jealous over your time. He's jealous over your talent. He's jealous over whatever you're going and whatever you're doing. God is.